The first reason is, simply put, the thrill you feel in solving riddles and the satisfaction you experience when they're solved. The second reason is because mathematical theories state absolute truths. Regardless of people's values, history, or current trends, once a truth is revealed, regardless of changing trends, it continues to be the truth. Math has a sort of beauty. The third reason why math fascinates me is it has so many areas like algebra, analysis, and geometry. Among them, discrete mathematics is a relatively new area of math that has progressed rapidly with advances in computers. It is an area largely unexplored by humans. And the wonderful thing about it is that it offers a bounty of great treasures within such close reach. The fourth fascinating point about math is, with math, if you pursue something resolutely, you sometimes stumble across the fact that everything is basically connected, and you experience this pleasure of discovering one truth after the other, like a chain reaction. Like I said earlier, Discrete mathematics is an area directly linked to computers. That means that it can be applied in many ways. It can solve many problems in the real world. Examples of such fields include architecture, design, crystallography, communication engineering, cryptology theory, physics, chemistry, mechanical engineering, and sociology. Another wonderful thing about discrete mathematics is that its results can be applied. Math is like human relationships. Be the one to make contact, smile, and be nice to math. The other person in math will probably smile back at you. So, even if you don't like someone at the beginning, try hanging out with that person first. Unfortunately, most youth today think, we don't need math. What's the point of learning math? Or, what use will math be in the future? This type of thinking shows a complete misunderstanding. That is not true. Math is directly linked to our lives, and once you learn the concepts of math, you'll find it very rational, convenient, and that it ensures our safety and security. Using concepts and analytical skills to solve mathematical problems is called the mathematical way of thinking. The mathematical way of thinking is not only required for solving mathematical problems. By acquiring this way of thinking, you will find math to be very convenient in terms of analytical skills and power of observation for various scenarios in our daily lives. With math, you gain the skills to deal with things flexibly when something unexpected happens, while bearing in mind that these things can occur. That has always been my thinking, hence my hosting TV math courses for 20-odd years. The role of a teacher is helping students understand something difficult, helping them to see something from a certain angle, Advising students to see something from that angle if they tell you they don't see anything. So I think a teacher should be like a navigator, guiding people to such angles. I think there are three basic points we need to work on here. One is first challenging simple assumptions, trying to work on various examples. Start with simple ones I repeatedly taught in my TV math course that while working on such examples, we will always discover new general laws and theories. The second strategy is visually addressing something. It's very important. This includes explaining problems with figures, explaining by analyzing tables, building slightly more complex models or devices, and explaining with them. For example, with the Pythagorean theorem, the blue part in the middle is a right triangle. You see this is a 90-degree angle. 
So if you have a, b, and c, do you remember? In this figure, a squared plus b squared equals c squared. a squared because the area of this red square is a times a. You see, in the case of this yellow square, one side is b, so this area is b squared because b times b. Side c is the hypotenuse of the right triangle. At the moment, it is blank. You see that this blank space comes to the square of a squared plus b squared. Yes, that's the end. This ends my demonstration. First, we make use of all our five senses to see and touch, discuss, make things, argue, debate with our friends. So it differs considerably from conventional math classes. You gradually start to learn the mathematical way of thinking. I incorporated this widely in my TV math course, and it was well received. I wanted to spread the word about how math can be so interesting once you understand it, not just in Japan, but around the world. So I built hundreds of mathematical works like this. These are all housed at my university's Math Experience Plaza to demonstrate to the world especially to young people, how interesting math is. Once they discover how interesting math can be, they'll start to feel motivated to learn. So what is important is to first get students to like math instead of forcing them to learn it. Just like the proverb, what you like, you do well. My strategy is thus to help my students like math. From there, they start cultivating the ability to observe closely and think for themselves. There's a show called The Math Spectacle Show. It's been staged in more than 10 countries, attracting men, women, the young and the old. Everyone loves it.